Hey everybody, Gradle95 is here, recording some more Phoenix Arayates Attorney. Now, last time we found a lot of heart, we did all that stuff, we um, got Edgeworth to let us represent him in court, and now let us go to court. Kind of. I didn't read it. Oh, Karma? That's right, man from Vaughn Karma. He's the best prosecutor there is. He hasn't lost a case in his 40 year career. Oh, I remember this guy. He is a god of prosecution, right? A god! Not a single case? He'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. Anything. Hmm, sounds like someone else I know, Edgeworth. Hmm. <laughs> you don't understand. I mean, he'll really do anything. Manfred von Karma is a man to be feared. That's quite a claim coming from someone who forges evidence. He taught me what it really means to prosecute. W what? Just picture a prosecutor as vicious as me, multiply by a factor of ten. Ugh. So, so he was your teacher then, Mr. Edgeworth? Something like that. And now he's trying to get you found guilty? What a creep! Oh, wait. Maybe he's planning on losing on purpose to help you out. Not a chance. He hasn't lost once in 40 years. 40 years. He's as ruthless as me, times 20. That's pretty ruthless. Like I said, he's a god among prosecutors. I guess that's something like Mia was to me. Speaking of Mia... Um, Maya? Uh-huh. We could really be using Mia's help right now, don't you think? Oh. I can't. Sorry. I tried. I really tried, but I couldn't reach. You couldn't reach? I think it's because I haven't been training. My powers are weak again. Oh man, what bad timing. I'm really sorry. I'll try my best. I hope so. What are you whispering about? Oh, oh, it's nothing. Well, it's time. Let's head in. December 26th, 10 a.m. District Court, courtroom number 3. I really want that lasagna now. Kind of. I'm hungry-ish. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Miles Edgeworth. The defense is ready, Your Honor. I'm going to do something at the moment. Okay. Sorry. You saw that. Cop. Uh, Mr. Von Karma, is the prosecution ready? Fool. You seriously think that I would stand here? Ugh. What? That I would stand here were I not completely prepared? Right. My apologies. He's even got the judge scared. Very well. Your opening statement, please. Decisive evidence. A decisive witness. What else could possibly be required? Uh, er, nothing, of course. That should be fine. The prosecution may call its first witness. What's with this guy? Is he royalty or something? How am I supposed to fight against this? I call the detective in charge of this case. Detective Dick Gumshoe. Okay, Gumshoe's first. Let's see how this goes. Describe the incident. Now. Yes, sir. Detective Gumshoe looks nervous. Uh, please take a look at the map. The murder happened late Christmas Eve around midnight. There was one boat in the very middle of the lake. There were two men on the boat. Now there happened to be a woman camping here on the edge of the lake. At 12.10 a.m. she heard two pistol shots. Then the boat started to move. We went towards the boat rental shop. Red map added to the court record. Testify to the court about your arrest. Now! W w wait Mr. Von Karma. Yes? Actually, I'm the one that's supposed to be handling these proceedings. Wrong. There is only one thing you need to do here. You will slam down your gravel and say the word guilty. That is your role. Y yes, of course. You're quite right. No, he's not! The arrest of Mr. Edward. Or Edward, but... A man called to the station around 30 minutes after midnight. We headed to the scene of the crime as fast as we could. That's where we found Mr. Edgeworth. Now, I didn't suspect him of anything at all, but the next morning, a body was found in the lake. So we had to arrest Mr. Edgeworth. 
Hmm, I see. Very well. Begin your cross-examination, attorney. Now. Jeez. Mm, I don't remember. You received a call from a man? Uh, yep. But you said there was a woman camping there. She was the only the one who heard the two gunshots, right? Holy God, he sounds like a demon. That woman and the man who called in the report are two different people, obviously. Different people? There were two witnesses. Er. Their testimonies were quite similar, however. Did you, uh, did you hear that, though? Did you hear his objection? He's like, OBJECTION! Like, a really big demon. Like, okay. Today I've summoned the woman who was camping. The woman who was camping, a lot of heart. What happened next, detective? How long was it between receiving the report and your arrival at the lake? Uh, well, I'd say it was about three minutes. That's pretty fast. Our motto for the month is get there quick. Jesus. Detective, you will refrain from casually revealing department secrets. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright, sorry about that, guys. Anyway, uh... Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Do that, and you'll be able to look forward to your next salary review. So much to look forward to these days. Stop it, Skype! This is no time for daydreaming. Continue. Y yes, sir. I had to get my phone just in case somebody, uh, like my, one of my parents, called or something. Uh, yep. What was Mr. Edgeworth like when you saw him then? Well, from what I saw, he looked pretty relaxed. Not like a murderer at all, really. Jesus. Detective, the court requires the facts, not your opinion. How many years have you been on the force? Facts only, Detective. Hard, cold, objective facts. Y yes sir Man, he's got his share of objections. Why didn't you think he was suspicious? You should know. We have a deep, trusting relationship with the prosecutors. Detective, the court isn't interested in your musings. Deep, trusting poppycock. Well, I've never heard so many flippant comments from an active detective on the force. Mm. Detective Gumshoe doesn't look so good. Continue, now. <laughs> Excuse me. But the next morning, a body was found in the lake. Did you find any clues on the body? A single bullet was recovered from the body. He was shot through the heart fatally. Judge, here's the bullet. It didn't strike bone, so its shape is well preserved. Very well, the court accepts the bullet into evidence. Gimme, gimme. Wh why is that? Well, we found the murder weapon in the boat. The murder weapon? Pistol. Detective Gumshoe, uh, that is a vital piece of information. Please revise your testimony. Right. Sorry, Your Honor. <clears throat> Excuse me. What about the pistol made it decisive evidence? Tisk, tisk, tisk. Ah! He has the same evil laugh as Edgeworth. There were fingerprints on the pistol and found in the boat. They were clear prints from Mr. Edgeworth's right hand. What? What? Order, order. So Mr. Edgeworth's fingerprints were found on the murder weapon. Y yes, Your Honor. Judge, this is the weapon in question. Uh, accepted into evidence. Pistol. Members of the court, we now have the pistol used in the murder and the bullet found in the body. Detective. Y yes, sir. Was the bullet found in the body fired from this pistol? Yes. The ball ballistic markings on the bullet match the bill pa pistol. Hmm. Hey, Nick. What does he mean, ballistic markings? Oh, I know what that means. Shocking! To imagine someone here does not know something as basic as ballistic markings. 
Nick, he's glaring at me. Tisk, very well. I'll explain. Actually, Judge, you do it. Huh? M me? Um, <laughs> ballistic markings are like the fingerprints of a gun. The barrel leaves distinct marks on each bullet it fires. You can examine these ballistic fingerprints to see which gun fired the shot. It's quite accurate. Indeed. This leads to one inevitable conclusion. The bullet found in the victim's heart was without a doubt fired from this pistol. This pistol, which as you may recall, is covered in the defendant's own fingerprints. Wow, we are losing right now. Oh, order! Order! This is bad. This makes it look like Edgeworth did it. Really? Well, Judge? I'd say it's almost decisive, yes. Honestly, I could declare a verdict at this point. However... <clears throat> excuse me. You wish to hear the witness speak, no doubt. Very well. I am somewhat fatigued, and so I will take a brief break. I will call my witness after the recess, which will last ten minutes. Judge! Yes? What are you doing? A ten minute recess, now! But, but, but wait, I... Just bang your flimsy gavel and get on with it, man! Y yes Ahem, this court will take a ten-minute recess. Who's running this court, anyway? December 26, 11.09 a.m. Judicial Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Edgeworth, what's going on here? Your fingerprints were on the murder weapon. Uh, hmm. And that foggy photo makes one thing clear. The only one who could have shot that man was the person in the photo. True. Was that you in the boat? Yes, it was me. What? But you must believe me, I didn't shoot him. Th then who did? I don't know. You don't know? Weren't you right there? I heard a gunshot from very close by. Then the other man fell from the boat. I can't say why, but I thought at the time that he had shot himself. Y you mean it was a suicide? That's the only explanation that I can come up with. Huh? How am I going to convince anyone of that? Say Maya. Huh? What? what? Any progress with Mia? Oh. Sorry. It's no good. Um. I know. I'm no good for anything, am I, Nick? If I can't call my sister, I might as well not be here, right? No, I need you here. No, of course not. I need you here. I can see you're always trying to help out. Even if you don't actually help, it's the thought that counts, right? It's okay, Nick. You don't have to make me feel better. I don't know anything about trials or defense. That's more. What's more, I'm a spirit medium. You can't even contact spirits. Aw, everyone has their. that. Aw, everyone has their off days. I mean, I've just been getting lucky lately. But you never know when my luck is going to run out. Oh, I know. Really? Whoa! Right. Don't jinx this case any worse than it already is. This is bad for my heart. Oh. Oh. Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> Stupid. Court is back in session. Mr. Von Karma, call your witness. Yes. Will Miss Lotta Hart take the stand? Alright guys, I'm going to pause it right here. You guys will see me later, and I will see you later. So, if you like what I'm doing, sub, comment, like. It's all good. Um, thanks guys for 63 subs. At the moment, I have 63 subs. Thank you. It means a lot. I Thanks. Anyway, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.